Ya ayuhan nas, please listen to this one. Please, please, please listen to this one carefully. Ya ayuhan nas, kulu mimma fil ardi halalan tayyiban. Eat whatever you find on the earth that is permissible and good and pure. Eat good halal food. What does that mean? Your chicken should be zabiha? I'm never going to get into that argument. <laughs> Sorry. Can I eat McDonald's? I don't know. I don't know. Ask a faqih. But I will tell you this. Halal food is not just about slaughtered animal. Halal food is also about where you get the money. Where would you get the money to pay for that? You, you're buying zabiha chicken from your liquor store's money. Uh, it's still the same as pork. You're still eating pork. Okay? You can zabiha it all you want. It's from riba money, it's from haram money, it's from you know, khamr money, it's from maisir money. It's gambling money, it's alcohol money. It's riba money. Oh, what are you thinking? That this is halal food? No. Allah says, eat what from the earth what is halal and good and pure. Halal part of it is the meat itself, the food itself. Tayyib is the way it was bought is good and pure. Both sides are covered. Halal and tayyiban. وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا خُطُوَاتِ الشَّيْطَانِ While not following the footsteps of shaitan. إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌ مُبِينٌ He to you is an open, declared, obvious enemy. He showed his animosity on day one. He said, I will get them to hell. I will humiliate them. And how will he show his animosity? Next ayah. إِنَّمَا يَأْمُرُكُمْ بِالسُّوءِ وَالْفَحْشَاءِ وَأَن تَقُولُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ He will command you to evil. And he will command you to shamelessness. And he'll command you to say about Allah what you don't even know. You have no idea what you're talking about. And he'll command you to those things. You know there are religions in the world whose spiritual traditions include dancing, men and women together. There are religions in the world whose spiritual traditions include drinking alcohol. There are traditions in the world where it includes, you know, their traditions include all kinds of shameless stuff. Like really inappropriate stuff. But it's the religious spiritual ritual. It's their spiritual ritual, right? Where do you think it came from? Where do you think that was inspired? It's not some sociological origin. That's shaitan saying, hey, you want to get close to Allah? Check this out. Here's a good way. You know? Sometimes Muslims get taken in by this stuff. There's one MSA flyer that will never leave my mind. There's one MSA flyer. Oh, it burns. I won't tell you which university. It was many years ago. Passing by, it says, Muslim Students Association presented, presents. A big, big, big word, Allah. Allah. And I was like, wow. A program about Allah. But there's a line above that that you can't see from a distance. So you go above and it says, dancing to get closer to Allah. وَأَن تَقُولُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ He will make you say things about Allah you have no idea about. Because I went and talked to those guys. What are you doing, man? What do you mean dancing to get closer to Allah? What happened to Salat? Is that expired? Is that out of fashion? You need something new? Well, how do you get closer to Allah by dancing? How high are you going to jump? You know? <laughs> he goes, no, well dancing is an expression of joy and Allah wants us to be happy and that's how oh, Allah wants us to be. Because He told you that this expression of your joy is how you get, because you get joyful and you get closer to Allah. Like, that's a really interesting explanation. It's almost as good as the Quraysh who said we should just dance around the Kaaba naked. Because our clothes are artificial and we are natural and we should naturally connect to God. Yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. Way to go. You know, you get closer to something. <laughs> it won't be Allah though. <laughs> Subhanallah. So that's أَن تَقُولُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ You consume haram and it'll immediately make you more shameless. You consume, you eat haram food, you eat from haram income, you'll start watching more filthy stuff, you start going out to movies more, you start going to parties more, you start holding a, a parties at your house more, stuff will start happening. Bad stuff will start happening when you start eating haram. And you'll, you'll start saying it's nothing wrong with it, Allah says it's fine. These were ayat about al-fahsha'ah.